YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, hit you with a video. This video right here comes straight out of Georgia. Not ATL this time, not Albany, but Elberton, wherever the hell that's at. Well, we got a crazy ass young girl who basically decides to kill her grandfather or have her two friends help kill her grandfather. Now, this right here is very disturbing. So, if you don't want to hear about it, I understand. Just turn the video off. You ain't got to even leave in the comment section, oh, I can't watch that tray. It's okay, baby. I understand. And to the fellas, okay, because you ain't no baby to me. But anyway, this woman right here, this young fool, 19 years old, decided to throw away her whole life over her bitterness toward her grandfather. And you have to understand what can make a person want to kill number one anybody but yet it's still somebody in their family and then grandpa at their pops you know i don't understand them and before we get started please unless we have proof that this uh old man which i doubt very seriously because he probably couldn't even number one not no probably couldn't even get it up don't sit up here and say well he was raping her or he was doing this if that's the case she would have ran to the damn police because remember the goal was to get rid of the man right so if you can get rid of him by producing some kind of rape allegation against him why kill him? See, you have to understand, when you hear stories like this, it doesn't mean that every person was sexually assaulted or molested. Some of these people are just pure damn devils, and you got to get that through your head. Now, I'm going to read a snippet from this story, and I'll give my opinion surely as we go. A Georgia granddaughter shoots grandfather 86 dead and lists friends to dump the body. What led Savannah Marie Jennings, sound like a crazy woman, of murdering her grandfather to kill him? Georgia teen enlist two friends in cover-up had initially reported the man missing. Now, Savannah Marie Jennings, a 19-year-old Elberton, Georgia teen, has been arrested after allegedly shooting her grandfather dead in cold blood. Not hot blood, but cold blood. Then dumping the man's body with the assistance of the two friends in a bid to conceal the murder. Boy, if that's not a heart, heartless biatch, I don't know what is. And I'm not going to say excuse my French because anytime you're taking somebody's lives, you deserve to get called everything but a child of God. Now, come Wednesday, Jennings was charged with murder along with her pal, William David, David excuse me, Peterson, also 19, young, dumb people, in the death of her 86-year-old grand grandfather, Otha Perrine. On, online... Athens reported both Jennings and Peterson also been charged with felony murder, malice murder, possession of a firearm during the commission of a crime, aggravated assault, and concealing a death. Damn, I don't know how Georgia gonna act to that, but I know if their ass was in Texas or California, it'd be zzzz up out of here. But anyway, Peterson was also charged with possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. In a 13 Dakota Scott Street. 18 of Athens was arrested and charged in connection to the ensuing cover-up. Now, Perrin's body was discovered Monday on private land in Elbert County, the Atlanta General Constitution reports. It was found in a pond not far from the 22 caliber rifle that was allegedly used to kill him. A regard of the man's body led to police saying he died the result of multiple gunshot wounds. Them evil bastards gun, gun grandpa down right there by the pond. Boy, I'm telling you, boy, like, remind me of that song, Otis Redden, sitting on the dock of the bay. But anyway, in the aftermath of Jenny's arrest, cops told of the teen having gone so far as to report her grandfather missing in a bid to conceal the man's murder. Now, this damn, this damn uh, female, because she's not fit to be called a woman or a lady, this female not only took advantage of her grandfather, but killed the man and then reported the man missing, covering up what she had done. But she got caught by the unluckily suspect out of everybody. And it wasn't nobody that committed the crime with her. We'll get to that in a second. Now, however, the granddaughter's plan was followed by another family member. That's why you watch your people. I'm telling you, pay attention to your people. You know you got crazy-ass people in your family. Watch their ass, because it could be you, your children, or somebody you love. And then you hear about these uh, very suspect deaths. You got to look into that, because it's always the people that's closest to you that will hurt you first. You, you know what I'm saying? Now, the plan was followed by another family member who went to the local sheriff's office and told investigators that something isn't right about Jenna's story. The granddaughter eventually relented, confessing to shooting Perrin, saying she got help from Peterson, according to the officials. They were each charged with murder, aggravated assault, and concealing a death. While Street only faces a single charge of concealing the death of another. 
Street done told on their ass. He done dropped the damn dime. He done did another 48 hours interview. He done sat up there and sung like a bird. And I don't blame him. You going to go down by yourself on this one. I, I I might give you five years. I can't do 20, 30, 40 of life or, that, or, or face a death pit. And y'all on y'all own. We was cool for a few years and we, we hung out. We partied. But you on your own on this one. Shit. It's every man for theyself. But anyway, Bum was denied for both Janice and Peterson on Wednesday. Street's Bum was set at 25000 it shows you he snitched. <laughs> I mean, shit, you're supposed to snitch in this damn case. You know, side being killed the old man. Now, not necessarily clear is what led to the granddaughter conspiring to murder her grandfather. She conspired to murder because she's an evil person. And this is what you had to be aware of, you older people out there, because I got a lot of older subscribers. You know, I know you have love for your children. I know you have love. Well, you should have love for your offspring and, and for your uh sons, your daughters, their kids also. You know, a lot of you all treat them just like they're your own. But at the same time, don't let these little bastards coming inside your house trying to run your house. Because trust me, if she went so far as to murder this man in cold blood malice, she was around that house giving that man hell, probably raising that man to have a blood pressure, heart attack, or anything. If 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 she wasn't going to kill him with a gun, trust me, she would have ended up eventually running his pressure up so much that he would have had a stroke, a heart attack, or some up in there. So eventually something bad was going to happen. You feel me? So put it together. Do not let nobody, I don't care how you think uh, think of them or how close they're supposed to be because if you go over this whole catalog of stories I did, it's always the people that are closest to the person, to the victim, that's commit the crime. It's not no some random act of violence off the street. True, that happened once every blue moon, but nine times out of ten, from what I haven't seen and reported, it was always somebody that was close to the person. And this is why I don't trust too many people, especially too many people in my house, because, uh, you know, I leave my money around. I leave my stuff around. You know, my my, my dog, he had, my dog's at peace. So if anything happened, it's, that means somebody else did it because I ain't done it. My pets ain't going to do it, you know, so I don't want to have to leave my house and worry about somebody poisoning my animals or some, somebody selling off my stuff or somebody trying to poison me to get what I got, you know, the little bit I do got, not saying I got a lot. But at the same time, you know, a lot of this stuff can be prevented Be prevented if we would stop looking at stuff through emotions, emotionally and look at things through the through uh, the way it's supposed to be, through the spiritual form. Because, because once you look at things through that rim, you will really see a lot of people is not who they say they are. You know, and I try so hard to get people to see that. You know, I don't know if you all can feel people vibes or their emotions or you don't look at deep into their eyes and see but some of these people you can look inside their eyes look inside this uh young young uh woman eyes and see if you see a soul there it's empty it's dark and it's, it's blank it's nothing there but free space and that free space allowed these demons to come in and ultimately persuaded her to kill her grandfather not saying that she had an intention to do it at first she probably didn't, but somewhere along the line, something else stepped in and took over her mind and pushed her to do what she done because everything happens for a reason. Now, what's her reason for killing for killing the man? It's no good enough reason. Unless that man saw up there and pulled a gun on you, you have no right to sit up here and, and uh d take his life. And that goes for man or woman. You know, so be careful, my older my older subscribers, my older family out there. Be careful of everyone because people are losing their minds more and more in these days because i honestly believe you know this is like a cleansing that's occurring it's like the last days and we're going to see a lot more of of these things occurring it's going to get worse before it gets better because you know it's like evil is is raising his, his ugly head like the movie the dark knight rises i don't understand you know fully what's really going on but i know one thing i know people uh intentions when i see them when i come across them and it don't matter who they are who are who are they in my life if you're kin to me or not if i get a bad vibe from you i get the hell away from you because i know one thing that i'm gonna take it to the extreme if you try to do something to me and that goes for anybody because remember self-preservation is the number one rule in this world everything want to survive and don't nobody on the face of this earth that's walking around with two legs have a right to take another person's life you know if they're not trying to kill you let me know what you all think about this situation. And also, if you got any family members around your house that's on drugs, that's around there crazy, around there acting very irrational, you need to watch these people because if they already an open vessel, which means they, they subject to do anything, trust me, you will be the next person that'll do something too. So think about that today. Stop dealing with people with these loose minds, with these reprobated minds. Deal with people who are sane, who think sane, you know, and let that be the lesson for the day also. And to this old man, it's sad. That, you know, you brought this girl, mom or dad in, which one, I don't know the relation on that part. But yet it's still, you made a way for her to be born. And yet it's still, 
years later, he done lived through all these years for this for this uh beast to grow up and ultimately kill him. That's the sad part right there. You know, and that goes to show you, ain't no love. You know, it just it's just people who pretending basically like they love you. Let me know what you all think. Until next time, y'all stay blessed. And I hope y'all uh understand the video, you know, because it's a sad situation. But somebody got to tell the story. Till next time, I'm out.